Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 15th of September, Tuesday of the week of Pentecost 15. The reading, Theodore Fiedler, F-L-I-E-D-N-E-R, 1800-1864. Blessed font of heavenly gladness, Jesus, thine are all our powers. Thee in sickness, want, and sadness, to behold and serve is ours. One another's burdens bearing, bringing comfort in distress. We thy work, O Lord, are sharing, who didst come the poor to bless. Where a child with love is tended, where the hungry are supplied, where the prisoner is befriended, thou art our reward and guide. Send thy love with fire from heaven, Love that longs to help and bless, be it in the world eleven, unto peace and righteousness, a hymn written for deaconesses. The prayer, and this has become one of my most favorites. Indeed, it's attributed to a mother superior in the 17th century, but don't you be confused. This is not gender specific. This counts men and women all of an age, shall we say. So, Lord, you know better than I know myself that I'm getting older and will someday be old. Keep me from getting talkative and particularly from the fatal habit of thinking that I must say something on every subject and on every occasion. Release me from craving to straighten out everybody's affairs. Keep my mind from the recital of endless details. Give me wings to come to the point. I ask for grace to for grace enough to listen to the tales of others' pains, but seal my lips on my own aches and pains. They are increasing, and my love of rehearsing them is becoming sweeter as the years go by. Help me to endure them with patience. I dare not ask for an improved memory, but for a growing humility and lessening cocksureness when my memory seems to clash with the memories of others. Teach me the glorious lesson that occasionally it is possible that I may be mistaken. Keep me reasonably sweet. I do not want to be a saint. Some of them are so hard to live with. But a sour old woman is one of the crowning works of the devil. Give me the ability to see good things in unexpected places and talents in unexpected people. And give me, O oh Lord, the grace to tell them so. Make me thoughtful, but not moody. Helpful, but not bossy. With my vast store of wisdom, it seems a pity not to use it all, but thou knowest, O oh Lord, I want a few friends at the end. Amen.